Hey yo everyone, how's it going? Today we're playing Isaac with the Light D6. This can be used without full charges. It rolls items with their average quality into the current room. Costs one charge if you want to reroll in a quality one, two in a quality two, same for the three, and six if you want a quality four and above. Now I have no clue how the quality four and above can be. This is a quality four, so should we roll in another quality? Oh, okay, what a start! What a start! super easy way now maybe i shouldn't have swapped it for the d6 if i wanted a much fairer start but i'm playing this and i'm playing with more option and there's option so like we get more than one item per each room so that if we want to reroll we get the combined value and this is zero and one which means i should be able to do that and get something decent they both suck though that's one i'll tell you what i thought back about it i'll take this for the fight bombs thank you give me some more music to play and I'll even bomb this one to get the soul heart. Today is the day right after Easter, so happy Easter to everybody. I hope you've had a great day. Let me know how you've spent your Easter in the comments below. Now, I'd like to understand why I have a question mark on my forehead. What is going on, Isaac? What are you troubled about? I don't have enough charges to do whatever I want to do in the boss room. So if we get a good item, I might just as well take it. At least I think. I do have free charges, so I might be able to reroll into quality free. But again, that depends on whether or not I do manage to get a buff combo. Oh, I was stayed almost too close. This guy's pressuring me way too much. But we are our HP and our damage at the starting floor. We're just vibing. There you go, Monstro is done out of the way. Now, do I get decent items? Please get- Oh, that's hell. What the hell are you? That's Envy. Hey, that's a quality zero and that's a quality three. I'd say I'm gonna take the quality three straight away and not think about it. So that's an easy choice. This item, this cube, just like the one from the last video, by the way, comes from the, the Benighted Soul mod. It includes way more items than just these two, let me tell you. And they're all fantastic. If you've not seen the last video, go check it out, because even that reroll is just a banger. Made sure it was basically a new spin down dice. And we almost have six charges, so I might just as well... Let's see, where could Secret be? Secret will not be the... Hmm. All right, I'll place the judgment over here just so that I can blow it up and get more stuff. And I got a weak crown. Okay, wait, what does this do? Mushroom and shopping shell. Uh, okay, I might be going Satan for this run. And here I have two quality ones. Uh, is there anything that I actually want? I mean, it takes me one charge to reroll it, so it's not bad. And I'll take Monster Manuel for the one at the free bookworm. Actually worth it, actually worth it. We're down one key, we should get more of those. And I might even go Outpath after this, because there is just even more items in there. Yeah, I think that's a great choice, actually. Should have done that straight away, but I didn't think about it. Top could have been secret or super secret and burn penny. No, no, no. We have a good trinket so far. Little Horn, I am sorry that you're gonna have to perish in this way. I almost got hit by a hole. That would have been so disappointing by me. Thankfully, I know better. Yes, hit yourself with the bombs, please. Oh yeah, that's just making me so happy. Oh, wow, fantastic. He actually did everything by himself. I am gonna take Pentagram. But I don't think I'm gonna go Devil for the sole reason that if I go Angel, there is a chance I have multiple items in the same room, and that will actually save me a lot of grind. Now, I already have six charges, so let's not waste a single one of them, and let's try... How do I go on about doing this room? Oh god, oh well, that was easy, actually. Yeah, I shall not waste anything and try to get the treasure room as fast as possible. Given my luck, I am fully aware that that will do nothing. I'm gonna find it in probably like 10 to 15 years. But we can try our best, nothing is stopping us. That's two keys dropped out of this room. Just what I needed. I found the boss room instead of the treasure room. I'll go in that one. I don't really care about the fact that I skipped the treasure room. I just want some items to reroll. That's what I really, really care about. The room over here is done. Let's see, who's this? Oh, well. Easiest boss in this floor, right? Literally gonna be no problem unless he does some weird combos that I've never seen before. That's pwn some minions every now and then, but they're literally one shot. So again, no problem whatsoever, never mind. See, like, combos like that when I get the minions to grow up a bit is a bit bad. Here I should be kind of careful. Okay, I'm done, I'm good, I'm good. No worries, and Catronite, wow, these are both super good items. Oh, damn. I'll take the damage up though. We're basing our build on a damage up, so I'm gonna go with this. And this is a quality two. I think the key pieces are quality one. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take it, because it's not a bad item. So let, let's begin with that. Jesus Juice, even more damage up. But rolling a quality two and a quality one together will give me more, more chances to have a quality one than anything else. So I don't think it's worth it. I don't even know if this keeps the same pool. But being at this floor with 12 damage, I am not complaining. Also, worth announcement to make, I'm gonna change my stream schedule from streaming in the evening to the afternoon so that more people can join. 
it's more accessible to everybody and we can all have a better time together so starting from tomorrow at 4 p.m gmt plus one actually i'll start streaming on twitch i'm not gonna do it every day but when I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna post it on my Discord and ping everybody. So make sure to join that as well. Link is in the description. And there we go. We finally have Treasure Room. I am loving this run so far. This dice hasn't seen its full potential yet. Even though with the first reroll we've done in this game, it was kind of good. Now, I don't know what the middle one is, but it's worth a try. Okay, so it's quality two. I'm gonna keep on rerolling until I get a good one. Potentially going with this. Oh, even more bombs. I might have wasted that. I probably did, yes, but it's all right. Gonna use two bombs to get both the chest and the bomb back, so I effectively only use one. Maybe get it back as well, good. Let's not forget about the mirror dimension, though. There might be something crazy in there, even especially in the boss fight. Boss fight could be big. There we are, back into the boss fight, this time with way more damage than before. And I cannot be moved by the flush. So much better and much easier position. Look at his HP going down, by the way. Like, this is dealing a serious amount of damage. Jesus Christ, wow. He really pushed me away with that. Okay, though, no problem. No problem whatsoever. There's a quality 2 and a quality 1. Uh, that's HP. I don't really want HP. I want something better, like speed, yes. Speed and 2 out of 3 spun? Absolutely. Now, I wonder, since this is zero quality, does it get... Oh, and this is free. I can get like zero quality items for free what is that that's a modded item okay let, let's skip that let, let's let's not spoil us anything what would actually be good to get as a quality zero item i'm wondering eventually we're gonna breakfast in here but if i do this it means that i can get rid of every single quality zero item wait that's actually big there we go we finished all quality zero items i mean at this point i might just as well take the large set what a strategy we're min maxing even with this dice on and i want to kind of be risky but i do feel like this could be secret am i right yes i am no items though no items next floor here we come whoa what a fast transition okay this floor should be much better now we have no possibility of actually taking quality zero items i'm glad that i found out of that little exploit i don't know if that's a good thing and it should stay like that for the mod but i'm gonna say that it's nice and oh that's a secret room item that's also quality zero so it takes us nothing to roll into more stuff what i roll into uh well I, I guess i already finished even the quality zero in the secret room pool i'll take the extra hp whatever no biggie i have all the charges that i need i can use the world so i can min max my path as well i am absolutely demolishing everything that stays into my path so i'm sure not even the boss will be a big deal please be good items oh yo that's that's free out of free spawn i gotta take it i gotta take spawn plus two damage for free now all i need is extra luck and i'm done for literally as good as it gets i still have charges for my dice maybe the deal will grant us some goodies i seriously do hope so oh this thing is gonna move fast now i missed my only needle shot so far damn that's sad not going too bad though not going too bad boss is actually dead already look at him bye bye easy enough oh no deal there's a quality free that is not the greatest quality free but actually actually never mind it, it kind of is it kind of is very strong. I, I don't care about the um, shot speed. I just want to use up. Oh, well, well, so far, so good. So for the next videos, I do have planned to bring some more items from this mod that are super duper interesting. Yet, if you do have suggestions and would like to see some specific content, what the hell is this room? I don't think I've ever seen this. Back to the actual point before I got distracted by this game being too weird for once. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some specific kind of content, some different mods or something you have in mind. I'm down to try everything and enjoy it together. I don't think I can get into that challenge room, sadly. But maybe this floor can give me some nice stuff. Oh god, I actually melted him before he did anything. I don't know, do I want to go boss straight away? I guess I do have some good deal chances. And oh, it's Gideon. Really, really hate this boss. I'm always the unluckiest. Whenever I want to fight Gideon, I don't find him. Yo, okay, that's a solid dodge right there. Epic gamer moment confirmed. But yeah, this is just a boss that is way too slow for my liking. And even then, we're already at the last phase. Only one poop left alive. There we go. We're done. Still no deal. What is my luck today? Oh, I'll take Binky. Okay. That says I can then keep my charges for the next item that we find in the treasure room. Is that worth opening the buttons? I don't think so. Try to get into the shop at this point. There's even more options. Okay. Now that is just ridiculous. Sadly, I'm lacking two pennies precisely. And hopefully over here I have... Yes, I do. Ouch. Yo, I'm almost losing my soul hearts. Chill. I need to either find more or get better at this game. I think both are good options. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh no, this is going horribly. I only have one more reroll. What do I take? What do I take? You know what? Let's take the, the even bigger fire rate up. 
Nice shoot, super fast though. Okay, I'm not complaining about this. This is not bad. And I'll tell you what, I might even do this because I have what? Wasn't there a golden chest in here? Yo, yeah, why have I been scammed? I also have Curse of the Forgotten. I don't know what that is. But I feel like I've been scammed. I bet there was a golden treasure chest. Am I going mentally insane already? Is this game taking over me? Might be. Thought it will take a bit more time for that to happen, but I guess it's happening right now. I am in time for Hush, so I might speed run into boss. Oh, and Hush, how many items is Hush gonna have? Oh, this will have been golden with Damocle. Damocle tainted Lost will have gone so hard with this combo. This is the reflection that you make after you play the mod. But I did want to try blind and I am having a blast. But blast or not, I am to play carefully now because one hit is all it takes for my deal chance to go bye bye. And I do not want that to happen anytime soon. I'll try my best to preserve it. There is something jumping around me. I still have no clue where the boss room is. Might waste some time trying to open this. Maybe we get something good out of it. There's lots of batteries. That's good. That means that I can kind of waste whatever on this floor. That makes me happy. I still have the full card with me. No worries with that. There is the boss, finally. And wait a second. Out of safety, let me do that. Let me get some hearts. And walk into the boss. A minute and a half to do this. Shouldn't take me nearly as long. With the amount of damage that we deal, Seriously, no problem. The only issue is also dealing with the enemies at the same time. Especially the little grids, they're so annoying. But here we go, she's done. I'm gonna take the negative for even bigger damage. Please be good. Oh, there's <gasps> that's three quality three and a quality four. Come on, no, we rolled into all quality threes. No. Okay, I need to cook, I need to cook. Oh no, that's all my charges. Never mind, I'm not cooking. Damn, no. That means I cannot reroll. Oh, massive misplay. I thought I had infinite charge. Oh, that's so much good stuff. What are you in the bottom over here? Vault of Havoc? That's an active item. No spoilers again. Damn, what do I take over here? I'm afraid. I don't want to take Mutant Spider. I think I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to take Pyro. I'm full out. I didn't feel like taking Mutant Spider would have been the right choice. Just because I'm enjoying my tears way too much and I don't want to lose them. I don't know where both of my next items are going to be. And if I will manage to get enough charges to reroll them even. Because if they're quality 4, they take 6 charges to be rerolled into more quality 4s. But given what we've gone through so far, if it's at least one extra room after that one, then we're good. And yes, there is some something. I still have Curse of the Forgotten. And items are disappearing because I had runes in there. Okay, something, something fishy is going on. There is a dice room. Dice room, interesting, interesting. That's, uh, oh, okay, now that, that's good. Now I'm getting to be happy. Restarting the floor, absolute. <gasps> Jacob's Ladder, I'm not thinking about this a single second. Not making that mistake, no, no, no. This is good enough, let's restart. Okay, now I'm very happy that I didn't choose for the four tiers. Because mutant spiders will have ruined this synergy way too much. Now this is proper strong, I can chill and deal more damage than the Electro Dragon in Clash of Clans. This is gonna be insane, and I'm still taking damage. I'm curious, actually, talking about Clash of Clans, does anybody still play that game? Or am I the only lost person that still goes through it? I'm currently sitting, like, on all 13. I'm almost max as well. I wonder if other people that follow me still play it. And even if, it, if there's still new players coming to the game, because that is now a pretty old one. Still lots of fun, though. I still think it deserves everything that is gotten. I think it's one of the biggest game on mobile ever. I wouldn't know about the other of the genre, though, because there is like Clash Royale and Clash... No, wait, what is the other stuff? Brawl Stars, Brawl Stars. I do know that those have a lot of following, but I've never really gotten into them. Way too different for me. There is another default card. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I don't think I need to. Check the shop, because at this point, like we had a lot of good stuff. There is Red Stew. You know what? I'm going to bomb this guy. I'm going to take Red Stew. And Jesus, my damage. Oh no, speed that man. Come on, why do you have to ruin my happy moments game? Always you. Uh, horrible items both sides. But as well, this game, the second it sees you happy, it just goes out of its way to make it the, the opposite. Do I still have Curse of the Forgotten? No, I actually don't have it, finally. Mom should be a cakewalk, like a literal cakewalk now. Yeah, look at that damage. Sadly, it's the red champion variant. So that means that we get to shoot her less. But at the same time, we get to kill her faster. No worries. Now, I said that I should go shell because of the trinket I have, which means I'll then end up in a dark room and I still need a key if I want to go Mega Satan. I'd say that Mega Satan and hopefully Delirium will be a good thing, but that's literally luck. And as you guys know, I have the YouTuber luck, but when it comes to things that I actually do want, game is gonna go out of its way to not make it happen. Oh, but wait, I still have Ash to do. Oh, I still have Ash. In that case, we can chill a bit, maybe enjoy the run for what we have so far, and magic- How it's Magic 8 Ball what, the quality 1, really? Come on, man, it deserves more than this. Way, way more than that. Like, quality 1 is bad. And I don't think the item overall is bad, especially for the planetarium. I know that we can not really use it, but... Quality 1 is doing my man dirty. It does not deserve it. Do I have default 30 damage, by the way? I think I do. 
I have default 30 damage. I mean, close enough, like 29 something. Okay. Plus, I have a whole lot of tears. I am completely forgetting about my dice, but I do want to preserve charges either for the next deal. That hopefully does happen, because elsewise I'm stuck. No Mega Satan. And one for Hush. I like. I could risk it and hope for one inside the shop, but that might be a little much even for me. This could be secret. If that is, I'm going to be very happy. That was not. There is a battery over there. Fantastic. We don't need to worry about anything anymore, guys. There is more deal chance in here. I will be taking that. And there is a heart that I've never seen before. It looks like a silver heart. Interesting, interesting stuff. More HP. Okay, this floor is actually blessing me. I'm actually getting a lot of goodies. So where is mum's heart? That's what I care about right now. I want to beat the boss fight, get it done with, and just chill onto the hush fight. Get my batteries back as well, because I do need to spend time walking back and forth. I don't have any mods that allow me to teleport, sadly. But I'm happy with that. I'm happy not having those mods. Not really a fan of those. I don't, I, I don't want to say it's cheating, because at the end of the day, it's a single player game. But really, I don't really like them. Now, do I have anything to actually reroll in here? Uh... That uh, actually sucks big time. That sucks big time. But I'm gonna do this instead. I'm gonna take this. And this as well, because I do need to take it. I cannot reroll it. And we don't even need to walk backwards. No worries. All right, Blue Boom, also called three question marks. There's a quality three in there. That's a wild card. If only, if only I could read this. Hold on, hold on. Chill a second. Now, I cannot open all this. But I'll have to walk in the shop first. There is a golden membership card. Maybe some rigging down here. Maybe a Yera. I don't know. I don't know. No Yera, but we can reroll. How is Lost Soul 66 pennies, by the way? Like, that's way too much. There is missing poster. Funny. We're not looking for it, though. Curved horn. Uh. Okay, so runes cost approximately six pennies. And that doesn't look like anything good. Sadly, no wild card will be duplicated today. Still have three keys. Which means that one will be thrown in the first chest. We still have an extra key. And nothing more. What about in here? We have Ultra Flesh Kid. You! You! Yes, this is like the best babies. If you've seen it in live, you know how good that is. We went from the top tier item to GB bug in friend zone. Okay, shot a free Belzebub. Whatever. I guess we can take you. I'll take Glass Eye. I'll take Wildcard with me. Because nobody says we're not going to find another Yera. It is going to happen, and I am going to break the game. Sadly, no cool space is found. My damage is actually going a lot more down than I thought. What the hell? What happened over here? Why did I have so much damage before and now it's only 18 and going down to 10? Damn, the Reds 2 is actually cursing me. Still not bad though, still not bad. Not even close to being bad to be fair. Come on, Blue Baby, just go on. Your life is over and ouch, that damage was too much. I'm still holding pressures to my rerolls, by the way. We've not found a single thing that was worth it. It doesn't look like this old mod pack is based on mathematics, by the way. This is the average quality of the items than the... Dice from like last episode was plus minus times and divided by. Odd stuff, odd stuff. Is this the actual official Isaac maths update? I don't know, but I'm not mad about it. I actually like it quite a lot. There we go. He's under half HP. He's starting with the crazy attacks. Oh no, look at how many tears this thing generates, by the way. This is way too much. Okay, go back into shooting those. Those are fine by me. I can just stand still and avoid them. But the red ones, the red ones force you into something. I, I don't have to understand that, know that I'm getting hit by it. I'm definitely getting hit by those. This one might be a little worse in position wise. I still look safe. I am still safe. 10 out of 10 positioning, actually. Old sides are not shooting at me. Okay, never mind. I kind of lost focus. Oh no, this is bad. Way too much damage, man. But it's because I allowed you to do it. It's not my fault. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's completely my fault. It's my complete skill issue. There is actual bookworms in there, question mark? What the hell is that? And I have no keys. I've never ever seen a library in shell. I think it's still the effect of my trinkets. Oh, damn, I still need keys for these. I forgot. I actually literally forgot about it. I need tons of keys, and I need hearts for my little baby to grow. Give him some red HP. Let's go, there he does. Once he evolves, he gets a little dress as well. Looks super cute. Oh, no, give me my wild card back. I'll try and see. Does he fly? Because if he does, I could just bring him over. No, it doesn't look like that. So he cannot fly. He's kind of like Bumbo in a way. Yeah, let's put it like that. He's a nice, cuter Bumbo. And I said it, chat. I said it. He's a cuter Bumbo. He's cuter than Bumbo. Now, there's the fight, but I still have to find all of my goodies. And I have three keys, which means I can even open all of them. I'm gonna go into the shop first, because runes, question mark? There is a Pandora's box. Uh, before I spend any money, though. I wanna see what's down here. This is horrible. You know what? Might just as well get a shell item. Whatever. Let's use it. Oh, okay. Let's use it, and we're not even re-rolling it. Twisted pair. 
Okay, this is literally the riggiest rig moment. No worries whatsoever. Our run just became 10 times better with this. I'm absolutely awestruck. I didn't think this was possible. I guess I'll take it and we even actually got bookworm. Okay, these are sadly low quality books. No quality four in there. But damn, now we show how many tiers. I we literally, I will look at that. That's a wave of tiers. We normally shoot three and then sometimes we shoot like 15. Look at the boss's HP. Oh, okay, yeah, this is beautiful. This is just beautiful. If you ask me to define beauty, I'm gonna say this is it. You'll find a picture of this run under it. Now on to this, please be nice. What the hell are you? This is the hypercube. Records the closest item and removes it from pools. If recorded before, transforms item in the current room into the recorded item. All hypercubes share the same record. Oh, that's interesting. I don't have enough charges to reroll both of these in quality freeze, so I'm gonna do that. And camo andes. Yeah, yeah, camo andes, solid item. So that, that cube is something very interesting. Wait, it's not even a cube, it has a specific name. Oh no, it's a 4D cube, that's what it is. It's a Tesseract. Okay, my geometry is not failing me, I'm still decent at it. Thank you to all my teachers for showing me the ways of actually learning stuff. I don't know why, I'm just a massive nerd for mathematics and geometry. I swear I'm saying that in every single video at this point, it just keeps on coming up. I don't know. This is the mathematics and geometry update. Now I even added the new geometry chapter. And Satan is gone by Bayer. Do we have the luck to pull out a delirium portal? No, in the game, I'd be surprised, but I will not be mad. Oh, what are you telling me over there? Yo, okay, okay. Does that, okay, yo, chill, 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 chill. Is Brimstone even more fit with what I have right now? I mean, what am I even asking? Like, why am I asking that question? I don't want to know. Let me see it. And as a bank, okay, the ideal some massive damage. Ideal some damage. All I need now is homing. Literally all I need. Yeah, look at this damage. Wow. No chances for the bosses to do anything against me. Can I pull a reroll in there? Didn't see what I have. I have a quality two, quality two, and a quality three. Yeah, I might reroll it. Why not? There's there's crooked penny. Ooh, and there's fruitcake. I have to take fruitcake. I actually have to. Plus we're rolling this one more time. Yes, for one HP, Rosary. Okay, we got some HP back. On the fruitcake, that should make this much easier as well. It dropped a rune, something weird. A crown of greed. Spawns one to two golden pennies and grants minus one luck for each penny spawned. No, 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 no. I need the luck. I need the luck to be good. And I need to demolish this boss before he actually attacks me. No chest so far. As you can see, I am being the usual unlucky. But maybe all this non-spawning chest means that I'm actually gonna spawn the port. What the hell? That's a lot of money. And even then, still no rune. There is an effect in Fruitcake that makes enemies spawn runes when they die. So that, that could actually save me. That could actually give me Yera. That means that we are one lucky step away from the total rig of this run. And if it does happen, I'm gonna be the best, happiest player ever. But nothing so far, just cards and pennies. Oh, a chest, finally. Me clever. No, Tower of Bubble, no, Deep Bible. It will give me Seraphim, so I might just as well take it and put it back. Even more transformation. Black Hole, no. Best Friend, no. Pause, no. What are all these items? I'm just rerolling into trash after trash. Wow. Not even the time for them to get alive. They didn't breathe one single time. And they were already dead. Poor things. But anyway, not my problem so far. Where is the lamb? It seems like we've been going on for a while, actually. Where is this boss hiding? Is he afraid of me? I mean, I would understand. But I do need to fight you. You can run, but you cannot hide. That's how you say it. And it does note that I am coming. I think this is the room. I cannot see it, but I do think at the right side of this, there should be the boss, right? Yep. I am correct. There is even a soul heart in there. I don't need it. Hi, the lamp. Are you the lucky one that wants to drop a rune to me? I'd be very happy if you did. But it doesn't look like it's the case. Just looks like I'm destroying him. He did damage me once, but nothing more than that, man. Thank you for the chest. I'm not gonna have to go in there, though. We're just going to mega Satan. Full charges. I still didn't use them. Damn it. Be funny if he could reroll bosses, but I don't think it will count on mega Satan anyway. Just funny thoughts. Look at his HP going down. Plummeting to the floor. If only I could not miss all of my shots. Because I have to stand on the side for this fight. So far, so good, though. Hey, welcome back. How long are you going to last this time? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's going to brimstone. Oh, I stopped him before. Fantastic. It's going to be about the angels in just a second. There is. This is the angel time as soon as I get him to 700. There it is. I still... I didn't do 700 damage with that. How did I do that? Maybe some crazy effect. There it goes. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. I do have some crazy effect that deal a good amount of damage. Can I get him over with before he brimstones me? That's the question. Oh, no. The answer is no. Oh, that's not brimstone. Okay, easy then. Super easy. Oh, no. Why is it, why are the tears doing that? I've never seen that happen. Did you see his tears overlapping? They literally gave me no choice. But we are on the easy side now. 
this boss fight is much better than the other one. At least for me, surely not for him. I feel like I'm spawning portals into him constantly. So he's not being able to use his tears effectively. Or as much as he should. Look at his weird patterns. Okay, now. Nah. There's something wrong with this. He's a being able to deal me so much damage. I actually have to be careful over here. This might get intense, but it's almost over. Oh no, let me out. He's dead. Give me the delirium. I beg, give it to me. No, no delirium for us. But thank you for hanging out, guys. Like, subscribe and everything. I'll see you in the next one. GG's. Ayo, hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If that's the case, consider to like and subscribe, join my Discord, and I wish you all the best.